How much are your PS1 games? Oh, ten pound eight. Ten pound. How much are these? Uh, it's a set. Oh. I don't know how to price these. <laughs> what could be a set? Yeah. They're working. <laughs> yeah, I'll take them. Yeah. Send your pat as well. Yeah. Yeah, Cheers. <laughs> Lego, please. Yeah. There's a lid underneath it, Thank you. And, um, any chance I can leave it with you? There you go. Cheers, mate. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so yeah. Looking it round. Thank you. What are your Wii games, mate? Uh, a pound each. Um, in there it's two pound mate, it's just not it's just a bunch of random cards, you get the tin in the cards. Oh is it? Oh I'll just tell it in there, yeah. Look, um... Cheers mate. No worries. I am both like your big Or I'll put Shouldn't have bought it. Yeah. How much are your games mate? That one's seven pound mate and the other a couple of quid. Oh, I need to sort out. How much is that Lego? What Lego? This one? Yeah. It's a tenner, but some bloke just picked it up and tipped it everywhere, so it's a little oh, bit Oh that was nice. Of nice of him. <laughs> but are you interested? I'm just gonna sort it out. Uh possibly, yeah. Is it all there, do you know? Do you know if it's complete? Like this, yeah. Most of it is, but I've not done a check on it. <clears throat> How about this one? That that's a fiver as well. Oh, deals over. Eh? Mm. Uh. Yeah, it took me ages putting all in the colour. <laughs> the first person picked up. Tipped it. <laughs> Didn't even buy it either. No, that's nice. Um. You got any more PS1 games of you? Nah, they, they, they all went. Alright, cheers mate. Alright then. How much are your games? Taylor, how much are the games? Um, what one? Uh, probably these. Yeah, just double check actually. Huh? Oh, oh shit. How much how much are they? So I do a pound each on them ones. Yeah. Suppose you've got the game for that. Oh, is that it there? How much is that for? Five for that one with the money on. Uh Take them,
Do free for them to pound off? No, they are my son, so he really put that because he wants to buy a PS5 game. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'll take them. How much are all your figures there, Toy Story ones? Uh, bus three pounds, then uh, three pounds. How much if I take all of them? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah, twelve for all. That's four quid for them. Thank you. Cheers, mate. <coughs> you see, this one needs a new batteries. Yeah. Uh, Take a tenner for all of them? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Yes? 15. Cheers. How much are these, mate? 50 quid mate. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the bag and there's the shoes. They're expensive, look, the man bought them. They're the same, I think. Never been used. Brand spankers. 50 quid each. Got to be in it, really. Unless you wanted the whole lot and knock a bit off a little bit. Give you 50 quid for both of them, but. That would be too cheap, me Yeah, no worries, mate. Nah, sorry, mate. 50 is the best I can do on them. Honestly, I think it's it. There you go, buddy. Have a good day, mate. Take care. Can you pick up the last? Yeah, is it okay if it has some marks on it? Yeah, okay. Okay. How much are your headphones? Uh, pounds. Mm. So someone's bought that table. Oh, yeah, pick up later. Pound each, yeah? I love That's some, some huh? cups and I told you. <laughs> I'll take all three of them, yeah, please. Yeah, mate. Cheers. Well, you don't, have you? No, it's over there. Where? Oh, right. 
How much are your PS1 games? Oh, £10 eight. Ten pounds. <coughs> Cheers. How much is your dartboard, mate? Fiver. I suppose you'd take three pounds for it, would you? Four. Yeah. Uh, 350? Four. I think, I think it's three, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Give you four. Cheers, mate. Thank you. How much is this? Pound. Does work. Press the button on the front. What about these ones? They're two pounds. That one and that one's two pounds. The little ones are one pound. How much is that water container? Do you take 50p for that? It's a bit broken. Yeah. Yeah. Take that then, please. Thank you very much. Cheers. Lucas Films Chewbacca. You're buying all them, are you? Yeah, I will. Ah. <laughs> no worries. You sure you won't take 50? Yeah? Nah, uh, sensible offer. I'm, I'm, you're too far away. 55. Uh, Call it 60, they're yours. It'll take a lot. I think they've got the brand new says, and these ones are mint. They, they both are. Yeah, I know, I know some of them. I bought some the other week, but they weren't worth anything. I thought they would be, because I don't know anything about them, to be honest. Um, Absolute yeah. mint. Shouldn't think they've been used to be fair. And the brand new, you can see the shoes ain't been used. Well, they don't look like they have, look. Yeah. They, they included the as well, yeah? Yeah, the bag, look, they go in the top of this bag. Okay. Sitting here having a cup of tea and a bag. Who gives a shit? I'm happy. Tell you what, I'll take it for 60 if I can have a cigarette as well. Okay, go, Pete. <laughs> yeah. That's a fair deal. Is that a fair then. deal? Five. Ah, oh, perfect. Sixty there. Gold and Virginia, but I don't add tips. Oh, so I don't put no, tips in them. Fine. Yeah, nice one, mate. Lovely. Thank you very much. It's great you've got a lighter as well, have you? Yes, I have.
we're back. Done two boot sales today. I'm not going to show everything today because otherwise the video will be too long. Uh, I'm going to split it into two videos. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the other video. But today I'm going to go through the first boot sale and um, what we got. Let's have a look. So there's not much in the way of CEX trading stuff today. Uh, well, not from this boot sale anyway. Um, I did get a few little bits, so I'll start with them first. I've got these headphones. Um, they were a pound each. They're all in really good condition. They were a bit dirty, but I've cleaned them. Um, <clears throat> so one pair trades in for 13 pounds. That pair there. One of them's three pounds and one of them's four pounds. So I think I'm going to start picking these up more often, I think. Um, now they're only cheap, cheapo ones, they're not nothing special. Um, but yeah, from buying these, I've looked on CEX and it seems that most sort of headphones are trading for at least three, four pounds like this, these sort of headphones. So yeah, if I can get them for a pound, I'm just gonna pick them up, I think, um, without doing any research. Yeah, so pretty happy with them. And then there was these two games here. Um, I'm not tripling my money on them. Um, I paid two pound each. They're trading for four pound each, so I'm doubling my money. Um, I don't mind doing that every now and then because I usually make up for it uh, when I've more than tripled my money on other bits like those. So it all just adds up. So it's still worth picking up. And then there was these three here. I probably should have just bought Skate Two. Uh, that one trades in for six pounds. Paid a pound each. Um, the other two, one of them's £1.40, the other one's 80p. So all together comes to about £8 something, 20 I think. I don't know, I'm bad at maths. But yeah, near enough tripling my money. Um, so I'm pretty happy with those bits. And then most of it's all sort of eBay stuff. Um, I think the first thing I picked up was this Buzz Lightyear and this Woody. They're both in really good condition. Um, they all work, as you can tell from the footage, because they wouldn't shut up all day. Um, I think I'm going to be able to sell them for about £20 each. Um, so yeah, from £5 to 40 It's good going there. And then we've got another Woody. Um, a, what's his name? Bullseye. Jesse. She's having fun with Buzz there. And then another buzz. Um, yeah, so they were £10 for all them ones. Again, uh, they're not in quite good as condition. So I think he's about 15. She's about the same 15. Uh, yeah, they're like £20 each, I think. So some nice profit there. I did get this one as well uh, for 50p. He's not in the best of conditions. Um, I thought that he was the utility belt buzz that I've been told to look out for, um, but he's not. This is like a later sort of version. This one's made by Hasbro. Um, but even so, even in the condition he's in, I'll just sell him for spares repairs, I think, and I'll still get fiver or tenner. Um, so for 50p I'm happy with that I did get this dartboard as well um, probably looks like I was being really tight when I was trying to haggle him down with this <laughs> but I don't know really what to go for so I wanted to pay as little as possible um, I tried to get him down to free but he didn't budge really so I paid £4 um, but I'll get about 20 quid for that now, save the best till last. Now, I bought some of these uh, a couple of videos ago. Go check it out if you've not seen it. But yeah, I paid £25 for them ones I bought before. And they weren't worth a lot. I sold them for 35 So basically, got my money back and a tenner. So. But from doing that, I learned sort of when I was looking them up, what ones I should be looking out for which basically is these ones um, now these are literally brand new brand spankers um, there's an eBay sold for the same ones as these for 170 I think 
but my ones are brand new those ones were used mine also has brand new shoes uh, and a brand new bag so <clears throat> I'm gonna aim for about 200 on them I think uh, and then there was these ones as well these ones I think there's an eBay sold for about 160 again mine are in much better condition I think these have maybe been used like once but they're in their original box um, so I'm thinking I'll probably aim for about 180 maybe on them now originally I wanted £50 for each set which I didn't really want to pay because again I don't know too much about them enough to be spending that much on something that I might not be making money on so I wanted to try and get them down as much as possible um, yeah and so the first time I saw him I, I didn't buy him um, but when I went back at the end of the day I thought he might budge a little bit more and he did he ended up taking £60 for both sets um, so yeah some mega profit there I'm really really pleased with them so yeah pretty successful uh, first car boot I was only there for about an hour and in that hour um, on the CEX items alone, I spent £10, which trades in in total for £36.20. So I've more than tripled my money there, which is just where I want to be. Um, and then the total profit, estimated profit from the eBay items is around £385. So... I've completely recovered all the money I spent on the CEX items, so we've got three vouchers there. Uh, and a nice big wedge of profit. So, really successful first car boot. If you want to check out the uh, second one, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And I'll catch you in the next one.